Yo, what's up YouTube? In this video, we're going to be cleaning out the engine bay. Hopefully once we're finished, it's going to look nice and new and shiny. I brought some stuff from Halfords to clean it, so let's have a look at them. So the first thing I brought was some Auto Finesse Eradicate engine degreaser. It says on the back that uh, you can use it on anything under the hood from paint to metal, plastics and rubber. Uh, this cost me £10. Hopefully it does the trick, makes it look nice and new. I don't actually think it's that bad under there, but it's not exactly clean under there, if you know what I mean. Next thing I brought was a little brush to um, agitate the dirt and whatever and lift it off places and get into hard to reach places and whatever. Brought a pack of three cloths, um, basically just to wipe it off and whatnot. And I also spent an absolute fortune on this. Cost me 17p in Morrison's with just some still water, two litres, and basically, yeah, just to wash down. So, yeah, let's take a look at the engine bay. So as you can see, she's fairly muddy. She definitely had some splashback from underneath kicking up, especially underneath the bonnet there. It's a fair bit of mud. So yeah. Hopefully, I'm actually quite excited to do this because I want it to look good. You know, I want to lift the bonnet and have a nice shiny engine. So yeah. But at the minute, I have not long just driven her, so she is hot. So I'm going to leave it 20, 30 minutes with the bonnet up just to let her cool down a bit. And then we'll start cleaning. So I will see you in a sec. So it's been about half an hour. She's still slightly warm, but she's pretty much cooled off. You see, everything ready to go. The water, the engine degreaser, the brush, the cloths. So... Let's begin. Right, let me just turn that. Alright, it says apply liberally. Lib liberally. Okay, I sprayed it on. Grab the brush. This is somewhat therapeutic, I won't lie. Let me spray on a spray me oil cap because that's filthy. Don't get it wrong, like you can see already, it is picking it up. So I'm gonna crack on doing this and I will see you in a second. Can we just talk about how much better that looks? Um, if you can see a little bit of steam, I feel like I've done it a little bit too soon and the engine is still a little bit warm. But compared to before, I mean, look at the air box and then look at the rocker cover. Look at the battery and then look at the rocker cover. That's insane. And I barely used any of the stuff. I barely scrubbed. I just put a little bit of water on top and that's how it looks already so I'm gonna crack on with the air box and then this pipe here and then I will show you what that looks like afterwards scrub 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 That's insane. That literally took me like two minutes. Like, that's unreal. Absolutely filthy. 
Look at it. Battery's filthy. Pipe's filthy. Cooling bar's filthy. Fuse bot lid's filthy. Oh, the rocker cover's quite clean. The airbox is quite clean and all. The air pipe's filthy. Oh, the brake cleaner bottle's quite clean as well. Honestly, the difference is unnoticeable and you can really see it like with the airbox and the pipe. Like it's unreal how good this stuff is and how easy it is to do. And as you can see, I'm giving it a wipe with the cloth, which is why my white cloth's now black. But yeah, I'm gonna carry on and I'll update you in a second. Hey, look at the plastic trim here. And a look at the plastic trim here. Damn. Okay, so I can't remember how much I'd done last time I recorded. I think it was just this plastic trim bit here. As you can see now, uh, airbox is done, including the pipe. Rocker cover is done. That pipe there is still filthy, as you can see. I have gone over the battery, but I do need to get in just there. It is looking better. Fuse box cover. Cooling bowl is fairly clean, to be fair. This heat shield here is really annoying me. I've gone over it like three or four times, but because most of it is rust, I can only bring up so much. And yeah, it's kind of annoying that. But yeah, so far, so good. It's not taking me too long, about half an hour, 45 minutes to do this much. Pretty much done. I don't know how much I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna try and clean it up a little bit, make it look a bit nicer. But I don't wanna be chucking shitload of shit onto the ECU and whatnot. So yeah, I'll try and just make it look a bit nicer than it is. And yeah, hopefully next time you hear my voice, we'll be with a nice clean engine bay. And I'm done. Um, I'm happy with it. It's not completely spotless. Like there is a few places, like, such as like at the back. You could do with a bit more love. But like the airbox, the rocker cover, that heat shield just won't get any cleaner than that. The pipes, coolant bottle, battery, fuse box lid. Even that rubber bit around the top there, that's all good. Plastic trim. It literally does what it says on the tin. Picks up the dirt, chucks it off. And yeah, I have, I have used four litres of water. I have killed the brush and I have killed two cloths. But I've only used about a quarter of the bottle of the uh, auto finesse engine degreaser. So in all fairness, that one bottle could do three, four cleans your engine bay if you wanted to. So I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you like the finished product. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. We're getting close to 150 subs now. So let's try and hit that. And leave a comment. I'll always try to reply to comments. Even if you say I've done a terrible job, I'll probably laugh and agree with you to be fair. But I am happy with how it's finished. Well, thanks for watching. Peace.